Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys, it's your girl Chakisha of Her Lovely Plan and I am back with another planner related video. So a couple of things before I get into this week's plan with me and my B6 Traveler's Notebook. First, yes, this is a new cover. Um, I was gifted um, by a very, very dear friend of mine um, with this cover um, and I love it. It has the pink star and it has the moon. Um, and it came with yellow strings and she gave me the pink strings and I restrung it, string it. <laughs> I restringed it. I don't know the right way to say it, <laughs> but anyway, y'all know what I did. I put the elastics in myself. Um, I didn't do a video just because I was doing it along side of another video cause I've never done it before. Um, so maybe in the future I might show you how I did that. Um, in my A5 because I do want to add more strings to it. I'm not a fan of jump banding. It's cool, but for me, jump banding isn't functional for me. So hopefully I can get that video sometime next month. But the second announcement is I just want to clarify one thing. It's her lovely plan. I think it's so easy for people to put S at the end. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people say her lovely plans. And it's cool, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know it's her lovely plan. It is singular, not plural. I did pay attention to English class. <laughs> um, so in this week, I don't have a lot of things going on. Um, I'm, my filming schedule is going to be kind of light because I want to kind of take a break to myself this week. I've been so busy with my business, ministry with my husband, um, and just trying to make sure I do some self care for myself because I have been feeling really, really tired and my body is telling me it's time to sit down and relax for a little while. So I still wanted to give you some videos just to kind of, you know, have you have something to look at. Like, I don't want to just leave y'all out there with none of me. You know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to get straight into this week's plan with me. Um, and I will show you the after the pin from last week before we get into filming for uh, February the 18th through the 24th. Okay, so this was my spread from last week in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. Um, very functional. Again, because I have multiple planners, I don't always have a lot to write. And that's what works for me. Um, as I told you guys before, you know, you have to figure out whether or not you are like meat, potatoes, like are you a instant pot meal where everything is together or you like your things a la carte where you can kind of put everything where you need it to be. Like I'm kind of a la carte, like I like to grab my stuff, put it on the plate the way I want it. <laughs> so having multiple planners works for me um, just because I don't like everything all together because I get overwhelmed when I have a whole lot of stuff in one space. I'm very organized, but I'm very specific in my organization. If I like, even when I separate my pens, I have pens from Villa Beautiful in one jar. I have my um, paper made flare in another jar. Like that's just me. So anyway, that is why I don't have to worry about overdoing the deco because this insert right here is just strictly for my social media planning and any type of meetings or things that I have to do in regards to planner related things. Um, as you can see, I put no filming and no live. I probably will. By the time you've seen this, you will know I went ahead and went live. Um, because like I said, I want to kind of unplug and just reset. Um, and so that's why I put this sticker here from the wellness kit to unplug. And um, this one, no screen time. So if you don't see me posting, um, don't be alarmed. I am fine. I'm just self-care. And I recommend everyone do that from time to time. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into this week's setup. All 
All right, right here, you know, the routine. Time to lay the date covers. And these date covers are absolutely gorgeous. This was a kit that I purchased from Planning City. Um, she had a fire sale in which um, she was trying to sell product to help a family member that lost um, a lot due to the fire. And of course, you know, I had to support that. Um, it's whatever I can do to help, especially when tragedy happens, I'm here for that. Um, but it was twofold because I'm glad I found her. I love her products. Um, now I did have a little difficulty with the stickers coming off in which it's no big deal. Um, because at the end of the day, stuff happens. I bought stickers from huge corporations in which sometimes their stickers were cut wrong or the stickers didn't even stick to the page. So just to kind of put that in the atmosphere, when we are supporting these small businesses in their imperfections or errors with the products that we receive, don't go, don't be quick to bash them. Don't be quick to say, I'll never shop with them again. Reach out to them because they're trying to build their brand so they can become a large corporation. And without our feedback, they're not going to know what they need to do. Um, with that being said, um, I did reach out to her um, and she is going to send me some um, new stickers. And I love that. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I was th expecting maybe a discount code or a shop credit. But um, I will definitely continue to shop with Planning City. And I will leave her link in my description box because I do believe she out often runs a lot of great sales and she gets the product to you super fast. So y'all make sure y'all check out Planning City. Now, no one's ever excited to have to take a sticker off their spread because of fear of ripping. But I was kind of excited because I've never got a chance to use my undo or my planner spreads. I've used it on a lot of other things like taking price tags and stuff like that since I've gotten it. Um, but I did not get a chance until now. Um, and I'm excited because so as you can see, I did get a little tear. That's why I was like, oh, let me get this undo. And you guys, it was dope. <laughs> it's just the little things that get me excited, man. Like it was really dope. So I'll definitely be using my undo more often um, because it saved my life because that um, checklist sticker was too crooked for me. So I had to get it off.
Okay, so this particular spread, as I stated, I am doing no screen time. I'm just taking time to self-care and spend time with my husband. So I kind of struggled with how I was going to set this planner up because it's my YouTube um, week, weekly insert. And I was like, I didn't want to incorporate me into this spread. But it clicked that it's important to still add elements of where you are at during that week of whatever it is that you're planning. So when you go back and self-reflect or for a year from now, if a year from now I decide to see what I was doing in my YouTube planner on the week of 18th or the 18th, I can see that I took time for myself doing my YouTube channel. So like if I was looking at my analytics, I'm like, well, why was February so low? I can see that it was because I took time for myself. So don't be afraid to incorporate things that you are going through or things that you're trying to, um, you know, any type of changes that are going on in your life in your spreads because it's a way to definitely create a holistic picture of um, doing this week, that's why my stats were low or doing this week, that's why I felt a certain kind of way. I hope you kind of understand what I'm trying to say. I've just, at the end of the day, it's your planner. Your planner should be able to respect, reflect <laughs> all aspects of your life, regardless if it's business, faith, um, Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case may be. Add a little bit of you into it so when you backtrack, you can know exactly where you were mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Now I'm just adding some extra elements to my spread. Um, I've absolutely fallen in love with these overlay stickers. Um, the headers and the box overlay stickers are so gorgeous. It just takes a nice spread and make it a va 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 boom. I don't know why I keep saying that word, but it just gives it an extra boost. It's kind of like the turbo charge when you're in a race car and you're losing um, and you're trying to beat the car in front of you and you hit that turbo button, pew, and it just takes it to a whole nother level and you win the race. That's how I feel about these overlay um, full stickers. Um, it definitely takes your spread to another level. Um, and again, these um, overlays I'm using um, are from Planning City and then the box overlays um, that I'll be putting on the second panel are from Scribble Prince Co.
Okay, you guys, so I am finished my spread in my B6 weeks in which this particular insert is where I keep track of all of my YouTube um, things pertaining to her lovely plan. Um, so just to kind of go over in full detail on what this week looks like for me, because typically I don't have a week where I'm not on social media or on YouTube. And um, as I was saying throughout the video, you know, it's very important to give yourself that time because you can get overwhelmed and sometimes underwhelmed. Like when you just go and go and go and you're just kind of like, oh, I got to do this video again. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying? So you have to make sure that you carve out some time. And the way to do that, especially being a content creator, is just get what you need to get schedule it to upload even with instagram they have plenty of apps where you can schedule your post that way you never have to go to your social media page not unless you just want to check to make sure everything posted correctly so i'm not really sure what's going on with my lighting right now but nevertheless um, monday is going to be the start of my no screen time and because i'm not actually going in and uploading videos I'm going to schedule my uploads, which I do a lot of times. So on these days where you see uploads, these are days where I actually schedule them to post at a specific time and day on YouTube. Um, but um, other than that, I want to try to make sure that I am also providing content to you all. So where I have on here journaling time, this is where I'll kind of be writing the things that I want to do to... Again, like I said in the beginning, I'm a type of person, I like to have a schedule. So I'm gonna use this time to actually rewrite my plan and my scheduling for YouTube and social media. Um, so that's what this journaling stickers in this um, spot means. And then these two days, I'm not gonna do nothing. I ain't gonna do nothing for real. Like, is nothing that's gonna be re regarding social media. The me time will be just self-reflecting, writing things that have to do with me Chakisha, not Chakisha of her lovely plan. Um, so with that being said, I do want to show off this foil. Um, everything on here is just so beautiful. And I wanted to use silver instead of gold. Um, it seems like we tend to, you know, pull towards golds and rose golds more frequently. Um, but this overlay sticker here with the bow and this overlay sticker and this overlay sticker um, well, actually, this overlay sticker is from Planning City, and these two are from Scribble Prints Co. And then all of my confetti and bow headers are from um, Planning City as well. And I used these last week, and I did reach out to the shop, and she will be sending me some new ones. Um, you know, and it's no big deal. Any, I'm not a shop owner, but I have friends that are shop owners, and sometimes you're just printing 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 and you don't realize that maybe your blade needs to be changed um or you get so busy you may not do a pill test and that's all good i'm not going to beef about it i mean i've bought happy bland of products where the stickers weren't cut right or when i peeled the sticker up the adhesive part was still stuck to the page so don't give these small shop owners a hard time when your stickers don't cut because they're major corporations that have the same issues. So don't go ham, eggs, and bacon on them, you guys. They are human. The computers and the cutters that run, they mess up as well. So you can't blame it on, on the shop owner. Just saying. I want to put it out there because I know y'all saw me on the struggle bus trying to get some of these stickers off the paper. And I ain't mad about it because life happens. But with that being said, I'm super stoked about how this turned out. I do have these icon stickers in this one, which is, again, from H Rain Designs. And because on Sunday I will be back planning, I wanted to use my Planner Babe sticker from Stickers by Rhonda. And it wouldn't be a TN spread without some Simply Gilded Washi. So I had to add a pop of Simply Gilded Washi on here as well. So if you like this video, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as click the notification bell so you'll never miss a live video or a new video that I upload. And as well, 
make sure you check out that description box there are a lot of discount codes for some of the shops that i am using in this planner today as well as some discount codes to some of my favorite shops that i shop at all the time like villa beautiful um simply gilded stickers by Rhonda. Um, Elaine Michelle Studios, and of course, the two shops that I PR for, Shop LCA and Mary Posa Studios. Y'all make sure y'all check those links out. Amazing, amazing shops. So with that being said, if you like this, make sure you share this video with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.